They can't. They can say it's not fair, but that's not a. That's how the marketplace works. But I got to ask a question to you now, because see, I don't have the benefit of people feeling sorry for me because I'm crying. How is it fair for you as a mother of a sing, uh, as a single mother with a child with a man that you said was behind the curve? He was mental, had some mental whatever going on, whatever, immature and young. How is it fair for you to take your child and ask another man to raise it as his own? How is it fair to him when you said that child is going to be a liability to him? How is it fair? Life ain't fair. How the fuck can you say that and then ask me how that should be fair to you? If you can understand it that way, shut those tears off. All right, all right, all right, all right. What's up, guys? It is your boy once again with another episode of Fuller. So, here's the big question. Do you feel that a man should marry you simply because you have a child? I'm going to say it again. Single mothers or whatever you want to call it, do you feel that a man should marry you simply because you are a single mother? And the reason I'm asking that is because a lot of women seem to think that uh, there's a lot of children out here that need fathers and men need to step up. Yes, they do. Their fathers do. Not none fathers. You understand how that works? You guys act like kids doesn't cost anything. But they're very expensive. And this young lady figuring this out right now when she get the news that possibly your boyfriend of four or five years not going to marry you. So tears, hey, whatever. That ain't going to fix the problem. But let's jump right in here and see and let's listen to this conversation as she um get the news that hey he ain't he ain't gonna do it. He ain't gonna do it. <laughs> let's go. Um I'm dating somebody that's like eight years older than me and um okay, so um I'm dating somebody that's like eight years older than me and I know that I wanna get married and i'm kind of like at this point where i want to know like at what point am i wasting my time because we've been dating for like about six months now like at what point would i be just wasting my time how old are you 24. and how he said you said he's eight years older than you mm -hmm. all right what has your father met him yes what does your father think about him um well, I was in foster care, but my foster father kind of doesn't make comments about the people we're dating, like, unless he sees, like, um, I guess, like, signs of abuse, like, mental, physical and stuff. So I, he hasn't really said anything, but he seems like he likes them. All right. Did you start dating him with the express intent of getting married? Yes, sir. All right. And did he start dating you with the same intent? Um, of getting married, probably not. Well, then, well, then, how does that work? If you started dating him with the express intent of getting married, and he did not have the same intent. Okay, so I stand correct. I thought they had been together for a while, but they only been together six six months. And she's like, "Oh, I need him to marry me. What what I need to do?" And blah blah blah. And ladies, this way y'all mess up at. You guys go into this with the intent that he's feeling like you do without the clarification. This guy never said he wanted to be married to you. You just assume it. So if he's not ready, why are you trying to make him ready? You only been in a relationship six months and you already push your marriage. So most likely he gonna push you on out the door. I'm just gonna be real. D too much. That's a disconnect right there. But I mean, don't people like, like, I mean, when you first started dating somebody, I don't, I don't, I personally didn't think like, okay, I want to marry this man. I think like I started to have, I start, I made that decision like after a couple months of dating. Well, that's and the I, problem. That's the problem. 
dating is dumb because exactly what you taught, what you d- describing happens. You guys decide you you start to bond to somebody who does not fit. See, what's supposed to happen is let's just assume you are a wife. Then you should only be dealing with people who want to get married and are looking for wives. You have that conversation in the first conversation. Well, we've had that conversation. He's proposed to two other people before. Um, so he's definitely marriage minded. I know, um, no, 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 no. You're, you're, beli- you're listening to what you're, you're hearing what you want to hear. Did this man start dating you with the express intention that he wanted to get married? And you said no. So everything else doesn't matter. Confirmation um, by it, you will find a way to make it fit. And you ask me if I'm wasting my time. Why? You, yes. If you're even if if you're a wife, you're wasting your time. But are you a wife? Um. No. Here's the thing, lady. A lot of you would say you're ready to be married. I want to be a wife. All this stuff. That's good. That's all good. But the thing is, a lot of you have never been in that position to see wives, to be in a home, to see how they operate in a home, how wives supposed to do this, do that. That stuff makes a big difference. So to say, well, I know I'm ready. How do you know you're ready? Just because you had a kid with some dude, that don't mean you're ready to get married and like come into this man's house and you know every dude has their own rules. Are you ready to fall under his rules? Let's just be real, because you coming into his space. Y'all not building this space together. He already had this stuff when you got here. Uh, that's why. Um, you, that's why I'm, you're wasting your time. Wives wouldn't waste their time. So that's one thing I can't say definitively. Wives don't waste their time. Wives don't waste their time with men who aren't looking to get married. Just like the other woman. She wasn't a wife. You're not a wife. That's why y'all are content to waste your time, and that's fine. But just know that. So when it ends, you can't blame the man. So, I don't know. Like, I'm still having a disconnect because... We've had conversations about marriage and stuff like that, and it's definitely something that he wants. It seems like the conversations that we yeah. have about uh, marriage between us is more so a matter of... Um, he doesn't want to marry you. It's like the last lady. Men will talk to you about being married. There's a difference when a man talks about marriage and then a man talks about marrying you. No, we did. Talk, no, he has talked about marrying me specifically. He basically has said that... Are you um, a wife? I don't really know. I don't know. Were you raised to be a wife? Um, but I have things to work on. Were you raised on. to be a wife? Excuse me? Were you raised to be a wife? No, sir. So you are meant to be a wife. I mean, come on, lady. Not now, anyway. Maybe later, but not now. Okay. You have any siblings? You said you're in foster care, right? Yes. Um, why do you want to get married? Um, I want to get married because for one, um, I was in foster care with my, um, immediate family and a lot of my family are married. Um, and then I also want to be married because I'm a, a single mom and I really, I now see the importance of having, um, a male figure around my child. Um, I see the importance of having a man in my Where's life. Where is my child's I, father? Where is my child's father? Yep. Um, since I decided not to be with him, he is not communicating with me anymore. How old is your child? She is three. There's all kinds of things wrong with this situation. It is. You need therapy. You need to get your kid ready for some therapy. And you are not a wife and not ready to be a wife because you just described you want somebody to help you raise their kid. There it is. There it is. Y'all looking for someone to raise and pay for somebody else's child. Let's just be real, man. Every time you hear one of these ladies talking about they want a man making so much money, this and this, I got to think about my children. 
I got to think about the well-being of my children. Some other man needs to pay for it. Not the father's, but I need some other man who then worked himself to death and made himself something to come in and take care of all these bad, you know what, kids that I had with Nug Nug and 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 really Ray down there. And some of y'all got one by James Earl. Let's be real. But no. No thank you. Um uh, no ma'am. Ma'am, please, please don't please don't fight me on this one. You don't want you don't want you don't want to go where this is gonna go. I understand you're a single mother, you're a three year old, but there are red flags all over the place and I'm telling you, marriage won't fix what's going on here. Well, I mean, I'm not looking for a, a stepdaddy per se. It's Ma'am, the- it'll be a goddamn stepdaddy no matter what you want to call it. Your, no, husband, I- your husband would be a stepfather to your child, yes or no? Yes, sir. I understand Thank that. you. Then it don't matter. Y'all don't want to call it, but you are. And let me let me correct you, ma'am. You are looking for a stepdaddy before you're looking for a husband. That's how we look at it. We got to look at that. The, the kid we're taking on because you're a package deal. He's a stepdaddy first. He's your husband second. And I, I, don't, I don't agree with that. I don't give a shit if you agree with it. You're not the one that has to take the risk. Okay. You got a daughter of a dude that ain't even talking to you. Cool. But that means a man is walking into a jacked up situation. And he has to, and do you want any more kids? Yes, sir. Yes? Yes, sir. How many more? Two. So if a man would have two children with you, Every dollar he would spend on the three kids, 66 cents of his dollar would go to his two kids, and then 33 cents would go to another man's child. How is another man's child an asset for your, your for another man? Um, I mean, how do, why... Couldn't I make that same argument since he has a no, child? No, ma'am, you can't answer. So you can't see what you can't do is answer a question with the question. The question I asked was, how is another man's child an asset for another man? The child is not an asset to another man. So the only way to make it make sense is you got to make another argument. And that's the problem. That's the issue. A stepfather is a bad deal today. Because they don't, one, they don't get the respect. Number two, you didn't come in saying, I want to come in and support a man in his dreams and desires and what he wants to build in this. You said, I, I see the importance of having a man around and I, and I want to have somebody. It's all about you and what you need, but what about him? See, that's my thing right there. None of what she's saying benefits the guy. None of it. So I don't care how she looks at it, she get in her feelings whatsoever. Bringing a child into the situation is them protecting their asset for you it's just a liability let's be real because you don't get nothing out of it nothing i mean y'all can do what you want to but we told you so 2024 mm-mm. hell and well he has, to, he has to step in he, if he marries you ma'am your child is a liability in the way you don't want to look at it this way, but your child is a liability. Meaning this, if he has a dollar, if he has if he has a hundred dollars, are you going to allow him to put a hundred dollars onto his kids and zero onto your daughter? Um ma'am, don't even make the come on now. If if if, if, if he comes back with a pizza. He comes, no, out I, I, pizza, comes out with a pizza and the pizza has 12 and the pizza has 12 slices. He gives three to his son, three to his daughter. He eat three, you eat three, your daughter gets none. That would be a problem. Exactly. So he has to provide for your daughter like it's his biological child. True or false? Yes, sir. That's yes. not a good goddamn deal for any man. It may not sound like a good deal, but I feel like 
I'm not just looking for a stepfather. Like, I, I've committed a lot to him within these past couple months. Like, I currently work for him. I quit my job to work for him. Um, Like, I've been trying my best to, like, I li I'm very submissive to him. I listen to him, and I'm very supportive of everything that he's doing. And it, when I started to date him, that's when I started to... That's when I started to think more realistically about man, the things I, the man, the I, things I'm saying, the th things I'm saying to you fit any single mother. So I'm not, it's not, it's not about you. It's just the fact that having, I've been a stepfather. Okay. Look, it's not a good deal. Okay. If he chooses to take on a responsibility, just understand that it's not what most men would do. And my thing is, if a man is willing to take on the responsibility of another child today, uh, I don't know. I, man. I, hope, I, hope, I, hope he gets, I, I hope he gets the reverence he deserves. I just feel like that's putting stereo. I just feel like that's putting me in a box with other people. Yeah, it's called I, a baby mama. That's where you are. You're a baby mama. No, that's right. You're in a box. You're in the baby mama box. Yep, you're in the baby mama box. You ain't special. Nope. Y'all all think y'all special. Y'all all think you're special. You you pick. Look, man. Man, how many times we done heard that? They always try to make it seem like their situation is so different than all the others. But you're saying the same stuff. And then you're saying you're doing all this and dedicated so much to him. You only been with the man six months. Why you quit your job? To come over there, maybe he was already hitting it, and then you, y'all probably was working over there anyway, and you just quit your part time, whatever. But why would you quit your job to go over there and work for him, and you sleeping with him? So when y'all break up, you know your ass got to go. He gonna fire you as soon as you show out, cause right now you probably pushing this marriage shit, and he probably say, oh. She see what I have, so now she thinking I can get up in here and get part of this. Because she already feeling she part of the business. You only been there working in the office for a couple months. You see what I'm saying? So, nah. Like it or not, I'm trying to be as nice as possible, but you ain't going to run that shit over here. You made a baby with a dude that don't even stick around. You're not, a, you're not an ex-wife. You're not a widow. You're a baby mama. That's a that's box. Not, that's a that's box. Not, that's a box. That's, I understand. That's not what I'm talking about, though. What I was referring to was um, the comments that you like. Well, specifically, what I was thinking about was when you said how stepfathers don't get the re the respect that they deserve, because that's the they conversation. Don't from, uh, they don't get the respect from society like they used to. They don't. They don't. They don't. But, stepfathers have no I, rights. Why should Why should the respect of society matter when I when I respect him and I make sure my child respects him? The fact that you asked that question just shows how little y'all understand who we are as men. That to men that that to men that question answers itself. And the fact that I have to explain it to you shows the gap between female and male understanding today. Go in the comment section. Look at what the men say to that. Your respect ain't enough. We live in a world to where all your, we live in a world to where your daughter is three when she becomes 14 and you have two more kids and you, she sees that her siblings are getting different treatment than she gets. Mama, uh, Dante looked at me a certain way when I came out of the bathroom. I don't like the way he'd been looking at me. He asked me to do so-and-so. Uh-huh. All it, all it takes is one allegation, ma'am. Snoop Dogg up on charges right now. It's being sued, not on charges, being sued right now. Man. I think that's the problem on the parents. Like, you know, the problem with what? If, if the problem I feel with like the parents? Any, the problem with the no, parents? I, I want to cl clarify what I was trying to say. I feel like any child who makes a false allegation against a man like that, is a fault on the parents because I feel okay. like that's an early. Well, why didn't you marry your daughter's father? Why did I not? Mm -hmm. I felt like he was uh, after we. I had my child. I felt like he was um, not 
emotionally or mentally stable and he How was not he? 26. Mm -hmm. So you got a 26 year old baby daddy and a 32 year old boyfriend. Uh, your child is three years old. Why'd you make a baby with a guy who's two years young, older than you and not emotionally stable before getting married? Isn't it funny though how all of a sudden these these baby daddies become such minute guys, you know, this mental and emotional wreck of a man after you have the baby. How many times did he crawl in between your legs before you realized that? Because he was the same dude. The whole, you know what I'm saying? He's the same guy. But all of a sudden now, you don't found another dude. Oh, he's not this. And that's probably why you left him probably to be with somebody who got something. Because you didn't say he broke up with you. You left him. And you run to somebody else to try to raise his baby instead of letting him raise the baby. Because he might be a he might be a piece of a mess to you. But that don't mean he won't be a good father to this child. That what y'all understand. So y'all gotta get yourselves together, man. Well, well when I first well, when we first started dating, I did not you didn't you did not have a wedding ring and a marriage certificate? We know that. Why did you marry him? Me and my child's father had a conversation about being married. Yeah, but married. you didn't have a wedding. The mar the wedding did not happen. According no, it didn't to happen. So you weren't married. I'm yes, and I'm saying I'm saying that the marriage did not happen according to him because he did not. No, go it to didn't the happen marriage. according to anybody. It didn't have, you didn't have a marriage certificate. You didn't have a just of the peace of judge a ceremony. Not according to him. Did you have a? Did you get married legally? I mean, what do you mean not according to him? To the, according to yes. the law, it didn't happen. No, I'm yes. I we we did not get legally married. But okay, what I'm then saying. Okay, why did you do that? Why'd you have a baby coming from foster care, knowing how important family is? Why'd you have a baby before getting married? Because I thought that man was gonna marry me. And I thought I know, he was see, gonna see, 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 no, 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 no. Is that what's supposed to see? See, the, you said that if a kid does something, it's to follow the parents, okay? Well, then this is the parent who decided to have a baby before she got married because you thought he was gonna marry you. You know one way yep. to ensure that? You know one way to ensure that? Is to get the marriage first, right? Yes, sir. Then you wouldn't be in the position you're in right now. Because but you are in a box. You are in a box, ma'am. And here's the thing. You need to you need to understand the box you're in is what the men say it is. Men look at baby mamas different than they do single mothers. Women who are married and had kids. You didn't make a good choice. Because understand something. Any man that marries you has got to look and say, you married a dude that was two years older, unstable. Then why does he want to raise inferior DNA? Why would, I, oh, his why, child. Would, why would a man want to come in and be a stepfather to inferior DNA? You said he was why? mentally unstable or whatever, and not in this case, life. DNA, that's not fair to me. He has a child Who as well. Who fair? So why, why does he get a pass when he's a single father, but I, why do I have to have, why, why does he get more respect and I have more faith in him? But as like women are more See, here he is, is, Women want fairness. Good. Women want fairness when it suits them. I'm not, this is what it I'm, is. Why is it fair? Ma'am, you want him to marry you. She might want to go ahead and get that dog. Just might want to go ahead and get yourself a dog. Not looking good. No, I, but I'm asking a legit question. Like, but why? no, you're asking a legit question. You ask, and I'm giving you an answer because you want him to marry you. Because we choose, because men decide who gets married. That's but why. Listen, like, listen, listen, listen. Pack it up, calm down, and let me help you. Women choose who gets born and who has sex. Those are your choices. Men determine who gets asked for marriage. We control access to marriage. You control access to sex and who gets born. If you decided you I want you guys real quick to pay attention to her body language. Look how she's look, got her lips stuck out, pouting like a little kid. Because she know he's right. She know it. Pouting like a little child over there. Lips stuck out. And you want to be married. I'm a wife. I'm ready to be a wife. 
Still a child, man. Wanted to have an abortion. Could your baby daddy have stopped you? No, sir. Well, how is that fair to him? Oh, so you accept the unfairness when it benefits you. No, I did not accept uh, the unfairness. Uh, uh, it's unfair. True or it, false? I, it's unfair. I did not exercise it, okay. that. Okay, so there is unfairness in sexual dynamics. And right now, you want to marry him. He's 32. He's got a business, right? Yes, sir. He's in a better position, so he get. Why does he get a pass? Cause he's earned it. You haven't. That's the reality. I'm not supposed to say it, but that's the reality. Cause he's 32, got a business. He can take care of his shit. Can you take care of your shit? No, sir. Huh? No, sir. That's why he gets a pass. That's how the world works. Okay. It's not about what I'm also want you ladies to understand is it's not about fair. And men have been dealing with the inequities, lack of fairness in the sexual marketplace for the longest. Now we're starting to hear women talk about unfair, but understand the child that he has, does he have custody of the child? Yes, sir. That means he's paying and providing for the child. He has his daughter full time. Right, and that means he'd have to take money out of his daughter's mouth to put in your daughter's mouth. Yes, sir. That's why he gets the fucking pass. But what what is the solution? Because we, we can't take away all these children that were had out of wedlock. And the, the purpose of of me listening to you... The solution to, you, to what? What is the solution to what? What is the... Like, how do I get married? Like that that's that's something serious. Like fuck having a stepfather. Like I really really have a deep desire to get married and I can't. Okay, hold on, hold on. What is the solution for you? Or how, hold on. Breathe, breathe, hold on, hold on. How you asked what's the solution? Are you asking me a solution for what do we do with baby mamas? What are you talking about? No, you? I, I'll do somebody like myself get married. If y'all keep putting me in this box and I don't No man, get, you put yourself in a box. We didn't we didn't do this. You did this. Don't put that on me. You did that. My question is how do I get married if all you're going if if the man that Oh, uh, well, you want the answer? I have a child. You want the answer? The chances are you don't. You know, and sadly, this is the reality for a lot of women. A lot of single parenting parents they never get married they may move in with someone or you know have more kids but there's a lot of them i see a lot of women right now in their 40s saying they want to be married wish they had a husband most of them kids about grown but they still in the house but they never got married and they had boyfriends, they had live-in boyfriends, all kind of stuff. But they never made that a priority when they were younger. They waited till they got older when all the catches are gone. You don't look the same, your attitude is not the same, and now you want to be married. It's highly likely you won't. And that's what we need to start telling women. If you decide to make a baby before you get married, you are unlikely to get married. Every other race seems to know this. We got a 26, black women are married at a 26% rate. So the notion that the least married race of women would do anything to further complicate chances of marriage is insane to us men. You are not. You have been. You may be, have had different family circumstances, but you were born in this country. You knew better. You knew what happens having a kid before marriage and after marriage. You know all that stuff, but you chose to decide to do it out of order. So now you take what comes along with it. It comes along with the box. But I got to ask a question to you now, because see, I don't have the benefit of people feeling sorry for me because I'm crying. How is it fair for you as a mother of a sing, uh, as a single mother with a child with a man that you said 
was behind the curve. He was mental, had some mental whatever going on, whatever, immature and young. How is it fair for you to take your child and ask another man to raise it as his own? How is it fair to him when you said that child is going to be a liability to him? How is it fair? Life ain't fair. How the fuck can you say that and then ask me how that should be fair to you? If you can understand it that way, shut those tears off. You can be that fucking cold hearted when it gets that way. See, gentlemen, you see how quick she was willing to say fuck you to the men? But yet she got these crocodile ass tears when it's her feelings hurt. That's why I want my critical detractors to say they got no problem putting this shit on men. But then I ask them, how is it fair to have to go raise another man's kid? Life ain't fair. The reason why I said that is because... I don't care why you said it, man. I don't care how you said it. That sounded fucked up. But I'm glad you were honest because that's how you really felt. No, that's what you just told me, that life is not fair. That's why I said that. Yeah, okay. You're responsible for the words that come out of your mouth. You're not going to make it seem like I put those words there. I'm that, saying that, that. That dog won't hunt. What I'm saying is... that's the man, Answer my question. Answer my question. How is it fair that another man has to raise your daughter? It's not fair. You are absolutely right. It is not fair for any man to come in and take up the responsibility of another man's child. It is not. I just watched a young man help this woman raise three of her kids. Three of them from middle, well, elementary all the way up to high school. The second one getting out of high school this year. And she had the nerve to leave him. Now she left him. He didn't rep raise three of the kids. Now she leaves him and go get her own little spot. And now she she good. She want to run the streets. And he looking like a dog on food walking around. Look like the whole world just done crushed, just crashed. Been together probably 10 or 12 years. Raising her kids. Kids calling him daddy. And she just like that. Didn't care at all what these kids felt or thought or anything. They still called the man daddy. She didn't care. She ready to hit the streets. But that's what you guys keep jumping out here doing. Y'all can have it. I told mine, don't come home with nobody with no kids. I'm serious. I'm not playing Paul Paul to nobody else freaking kids. If they ain't come from you guys, no. Mm -mm. Don't bring them here. It won't be a good reception. It won't be at all. All right, guys. So that's it for me. Hope y'all got some up out of it. I got to get up out of here. Y'all take care. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe, like, and share. And it is your boy, as always, Mr. Nobody. <laughs> Peace. All right, all right, all right, all right.